YouTube, it's Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. So from the title of the video, you can see I am going to do a flip through of my final planner setup. But before we get into the video, please hit the subscribe button and join the crew. I would love to have you guys. All right, guys, so let me just say I've been wanting to film this video for a while now, but I wanted to use my planner for a few months to make sure I had a system that was fully functional and truly helped me stay organized. And I, I feel like I have reached that point. So I've been using my planner since January pretty much on a daily basis. And I feel like I have finally got a nice system that works for me. So on the left side, I have my favorite journaling cards. This planner does not have the card slots going up this side. So I don't have a lot of room for journaling cards. So I just selected a few of my favorites. So at the top, I have find what brings you joy and go there. And I just clipped it with this Ollie clip from cloth and paper. And let me just say all of my inserts come from cloth and paper. So I don't have to keep saying that throughout the video. Video. Then I have the start over journaling card and uh, this was one of the items that made the final cut. This is the envelope that my receipt came in when I bought my planner from Louis Vuitton and I have the new mindset journaling card. I don't have anything in this slot and then uh, in this slot furthest to the back. I have my Excel for accounting keyboard shortcuts. Uh, some of you may know that I'm a treasury manager. I work in finance and so I use Excel all the time. So I love having my keyboard shortcuts uh, handy in my planner. Over here, I have the luxury and simplicity dashboard layered over the Eudaimonia dashboard that came in the December or January cloth and paper set box. Uh, it's a winter theme dashboard and it pairs just really beautifully with the simplicity dashboard. So I think that adds a nice elegant touch to the front of my planner. After that, I have the digital declutter dashboard. I finally got my hands on one of these. So this is one of the dashboards that I wanted to order when I placed my initial uh, order from cloth and paper and it was out of stock and it took forever ever for them to get it back in stock. So I saw on the site a couple of weeks ago that they had it and I immediately placed an order and snatched one up because in this digital age that we're in, we're doing everything from our phones, from our computers. And this is just a nice reminder to declutter some of that on a regular basis. After that, I go right into my inbox section and I have that separated by the inbox divider tab. And um, I just have some of my favorite transparent sticky notes to uh, track some of my inbox items that I need to actually do. So I need to transfer these to a day on my uh, daily section. And I have the uh, paint texture dashboard layered in my inbox. This was a part of my initial planner setup. I love all the dimension and texture of this dashboard. So I decided to leave it there. And I love how the uh, pink and gray uh, transparent sticky notes look against this uh, really muted texture dashboard. So I love uh, having th these paired together in the front of my planner. And I ended up getting the inbox inserts from cloth and paper. And I thought this was just a really nice way to organize my inbox task. So at the top I have email, call, note, other. And I love these sections over here just to kind of segregate duties and, you know, responsibilities. And at the bottom is just a section for notes and a place for the date at the top. So I actually get a lot of use out of these planner inserts here. So that was a really good investment. After that, I have my purchase trackers and I have my Believe in Yourself dashboard layered with the 
cloth and paper eclipse bookmark at the top. I love how clean and elegant this looks. Again, we have that cream uh, color scheme going on. So this fits perfectly with my planner. I love cream and white together. And another reason why I have this in the front of my planner is because I just love the way this dashboard feels. It feels really soft and I don't know. It just has a really soft feel to it. And I absolutely love the texture and dimension of the image on the back side of this dashboard. So this is definitely one of my um, favorite dashboards out of all of them. So that's why I have it in the front of my planner, just so I see it. Uh, every day as I'm going through my planner. After that is the year at a glance where I am tracking um, the blank bank holidays and my PTO for the year. Uh, like I said, I'm a treasury manager. So, you know, being aware of all the bank holidays is, you know, critical to what I do on a daily basis. And of course, tracking my PTO just for vacation planning purposes. On the back of that is where I am tracking events throughout the year that occur in months that I don't have in my planner. So I only keep three months of inserts in my planner at a time. And so when I add uh, these months to my planner, then I will transfer these events to my monthly and weekly sections. Then I have holidays and observances. And then it goes right into my routines dashboard that I created in Canva. And I just track all of my uh, regular routines. Before this, I was just uh, writing them out on sticky notes and placing them on any free space in my planner. And what ended up happening is I couldn't find them when I needed to reference them. So I decided to put them all on a dashboard so I have them all together for easy reference. So I have my morning routine, my evening routine, my weekly task, monthly task, and then my weekly planner routine and my monthly planner routine. And I love that uh, I made this dashboard myself because I can update it as needed. And uh, that's what this little sticky note is right here is, are some updates I need to make to my monthly planner routine section. To get this to fit in my planner, I purchased a six hole punch and a paper cutter so I can cut this down to size. Then we go right into my monthly sections. I did purchase the monthly side tab divider. So I have one of those for every month and each month opens into a cover sheet with a really beautiful image on the front. And on the back of that is a note section that I'm using to track birthdays for the month and also my video uploads. So one of my goals this year is to increase my uh, subscriber count on YouTube. And so I'm tracking the number of vid videos that I upload in a month just to see if there is a connection between my subscriber count and uh, how active I am on social media. So um, this section is like an overview, a goals overview page. I don't really use this page a lot, but uh, if I have some overarching uh, goals for the month, then I'll list them here. So at the top, I have my personal goals. I just wanted to come up with a regular cleaning routine for the house. And so I have that indicated by a pink drop sticker. And then at the bottom, I have my goals for work that I marked off with a purple drop sticker. And here's an intention section that I haven't really used. I don't use the bills due section. I ended up buying monthly bill planner inserts and I'll show you those in a minute. And then over here is just a, a section for tasks. Then it opens into my monthly spread and I get a lot of use out of my monthly spread. This is where I track all the major events and deliverables that happen during the month. And so here I'm tracking, I'm using these corner stickers in ash to mark all of my paydays. And then I'm using these drop stickers in beignet to mark off all of the birthdays. The colors really don't coordinate well together, but I had already put these beignet drop stickers in this March, um, in this monthly view before I realized I wanted to change up the color scheme in my planner. So 
they were already there. Over here, I'm just using to track important dates that I want to keep track of for reference purposes. And same thing down here. I'm keeping track of dates and then notes like I uh, need to join the Black NBA Association. I keep forgetting to do that. So I just wrote this here as a reminder to get this done this month. And then it opens right into my weekly spread and I'm using this top today divider tab to mark the exact day in my weekly layout. And I really love this weekly layout. I love having my entire week at a glance just to see how busy I am and what's going on for the week. And I really love the Monday start. So before the cloth and paper, I was using the calendar that with a Sunday start. So Sunday started here and then Saturday was all the way at the end of the week. But I love having the weekends right here together. It just makes it easier for me to plan my weekend by seeing the days side by side. So really love this weekly view. And this is where I use my stickers the most. These record flags I normally don't have here. I'm just using these to mark off confidential information for purposes of this video. I'm working a hybrid work schedule, so I am tracking the days I work in office and then the days that I work remote. And uh, what I'm using these transparent square page flags. These aren't page flags. These are sticky notes. What I'm using these for are for events that are a moving target. So the date, if the date actually moves, then I can just easily just reposition this into a different day in my planner if I need to. After that is my finances section that I have divided off with the finances tab. And this is where I track all of my monthly bills and uh, my reoccurring task. And I got both of these inserts from Peanut Planner Co. But I'll tell you guys what was a game changer for me and just really making my planner functional are these side divider tabs. So before these tabs, I was using the blank top divider tabs and I said, Oh, I'll just get these. I'll use my label maker and I'll create labels to indicate what each section is. And I never got around to doing it. So it was really just difficult to get to different parts of my planner because they weren't labeled. So I decided to just get these side tabs here and they have made all the difference in keeping me organized. So right after my finances section is my daily section and I have that uh, paired with the romanticized dashboard. This is another one of the dashboards that was out of stock when I placed my initial uh, planner supply order and again when I saw it was available on the web sub website I uh, scooped it up immediately and this one says people romanticize their plans but dread the execution. The magic you're looking for is in the work you're avoiding. So this was perfect to pair with a daily section because of, that, of course, is where all of the execution and magic is happening. So this was a no-brainer uh, pairing this with my daily schedule. And I have this section sectioned off with the schedule uh, side divider tab. Initially, I thought I could just use the weekly spread to track all of my appointments and tasks. And I quickly realized on some days I have way too many meetings, way too many things to do uh, to fit it all on this daily uh, section on the weekly spread. So I decided to go ahead and get the daily inserts so I can actually keep track of all of my meetings. I love the layout of this one because it also has the half hour mark. So if I have a meeting that starts at 2.30, I have a place to put that and instead of trying to squeeze it in between two hourly lines. So I definitely love this layout a lot better. I also have a place for all of my tasks and priorities. Now these are undated and I did that purposely because on those days when I don't have a lot of meetings or a lot of things to do, I don't necessarily use a daily sheet. So I get more use out of these when I can date them for the date that I need them to be and I'm not wasting paper.
and I'm constantly going back and forth between my daily spread and my weekly spread and that's why I like these uh, side tab dividers so if I want to quickly get back to my weekly spread then I just pull this today divider tab and it pulls me right to the exact day of the week and then if I need to flip back to my daily section then Boom, I just grab the schedule tab and I am right here. So it's very easy to flip back and forth between these two sections, which is so freaking helpful. And when I first started using my planner, I was using my stickers for everything to color code. But what I realized with my daily planning is it's so on the go and I'm so busy throughout the day. And as I'm adding tasks to this and meetings to this section, I just really don't have time to fool with the stickers. And so, and so I decided to get these dot markers from cloth and paper and I have been using these so much that I uh, went back and ordered every color that they have on the website. So the issue with these, so there's, there's pros and cons to using these. One of the cons is that the colors are limited and they also are not really true to what you see on the website. But the convenience of using these is more important to me than having the perfect color scheme in my planner. So I just pick the ones that I think pair well together like these do. And um, it's just so much easier to use these when I am planning on the go and on the fly instead of fussing with my stickers. Another reason that I like to use these is because it's a lot easier to check off things on my planner as they have. Happen. The dot stickers, uh, you know, they have that glossy coating on the front and it can be kind of difficult to check things off. Like, you know, I, all of my, see, all of my uh, pans don't write well on these glossy transparent um, sticky note surfaces, but on these dot markers it's just no issue to just check things off as i go so again i just think these are just so much more efficient and these are one of my most used planner supplies for sure and i just keep them in this little pouch here that came with um i placed an order and i think it was in december when cloth and paper was doing the free giveaway whenever you place an order and they were giving away a pin set that came in this little pouch so I kept this to keep all of my uh, essential planner supplies so I just keep my uh, dot uh, markers my favorite highlighters my tweezers for my stickers and an extra pen. After that, I have my April and May monthly sections. And then I have my project management section that I have marked off with my notes and lists side tab divider. And uh, I have it paired with the Believes dashboard. Under here is just blank. And so I use uh, an avant-garde circle page flag and I use my white gel pen to write projects and this opens up into my project management section and I have the project management inserts to track I track a lot of I, I manage a lot of projects at work and then in my personal life as well so for February we planned my dad's 80th birthday party so I use that uh, to track um, just keep track of that project and some of the events and tasks that I had to do and I am sourcing a treasury management system so I just created a little SWOT analysis here on some blank lined paper after that I have my midi note section that I pair with my world clock dashboard and I just have it grouped together with an ollie clip from cloth and paper so these two ollie clips this one and this one up here came in a set so you get two in a set, which is nice. And I have it paired over this really nice dashboard that came in one of the cloth and paper sub boxes. And I have it here just to keep, um, since the dashboard is transparent, I just wanted um, an opaque dashboard layered behind it to keep my meeting notes private and I use my meeting notes section when I am taking meetings in a conference room and I don't have my computer with me if I am taking 
notes at my desk then I use Microsoft OneNote to take my notes because it pairs so well with all the other products in the Microsoft Office Suite. So for example if I have a meeting on my Outlook calendar when the meeting starts, I'll open it on the calendar and send it to OneNote. It's going to transfer the title of the meeting, all of the meeting details, including the attendee list, and I can actually check off who actually attended the meeting and take my notes right there in OneNote as the meeting is happening real time. When I'm taking notes at a conference room, when I'm not at my desk, that's when I'll use these planner inserts. And when I'm done, I transfer these notes to OneNote so I can have all of my meeting notes in one place. After that is my vision board section, followed by my journaling section. And I got these reflection journaling prompts from cloth and paper. So I got the daily, the weekly, and the monthly. And I like these because it reminds me to, you know, in addition to the things that are on the forefront of my mind, it reminds me to journal about and reflect on the things that I am thankful for and um, just how I want to grow. So for example, List a few notable events that happened this month and your reaction to them. Are you satisfied with how you reacted? List some things you've learned this month. How can these be applied to your life? What do you want to learn next month? So I really like these prompts just to kind of remind me to take a deeper, look a little bit deeper when I am doing my journaling. Then of course I have the own your own story dashboard paired with my journaling section because that's like just a no brainer, right? And after that, I have this document pocket where I keep the telephone list at work. So it has everyone's phone extension in here. So if I need to reach out to someone, I have this handy. Um, and then that opens up into the conversion dashboard. And this dashboard, guys, just feels, uh, I mean, just so good when I run my fingers across. It's like a very soft, velvety finish to this cardstock. It just feels really luxe and really lush. So I love this kind of, you know, putting my fingers, rubbing my fingers across this when I'm flipping through my planner. After that, I just have my uh, sticker key to track all of the stickers in my inventory. I did an entire sticker haul from Cloth and Paper, so I have tons of sticker stickers and I just wanted to put a sample of all the stickers here with the name of the color so I can see how the different colors pair to get pair well together and coordinate together when I'm doing uh, my color coding in my planner and I keep track of my drop sticker sets and my assorted sticker sets here. After that, I have this planner belongs to, I decided to keep this in my planner. So in the case I lose it, um, they will have uh, a way to contact me so they can return my planner to me. You know, fat chance that someone's going to return this Louis Vuitton planner to me, but hopefully a good Samaritan find it, finds it and does the right thing and returns it to its rightful owner if I should ever lose it. But I'm telling you guys, this thing is glued to my hip. So fingers crossed, that'll never happen. And after that, I have the frosted credit card pockets with, that I'm using to keep all of my favorite uh, transparent page flags and sticky notes. And then I have my business cards here. So I have them in meetings. And I have uh, the last thing is this larger document pocket that came in the February sub box, if I am not mistaken. And I love this one because it's so sturdy and it's wide enough that I can store all of my favorite stickers and sticky notes and even my sticky note pads. And I can keep all of this handy and I'm not afraid that this is going to tear or rip. And we got a set of six of these. So I have plenty to use if this one should ever wear out. And then the last part of my planner, I have some more journaling cards. So I have the alphabet journaling card 
So when I'm doing my uh, electronic filing each month, I can reference this to make sure I'm putting everything in the correct alpha order. You know, it's easy when you're at ABCD, but when you get down here to S, T, U, W, X, I'm like, okay, does W come before X? So this just help keeps me on helps keep me on task. And don't laugh because I know you guys do the same thing. So if you order from cloth and paper, keep this in your planner and problem solved. After that, I have the From the Grounds Up journaling card that I really liked. And I have the Chow journaling card. This one is another one that survived the cut. I had this in my initial planner set up and I love uh, having this in the back of my planner. And then in this back pocket here, I am using to store another set of my favorite transparent sticky notes. These are an ash and these are the ones that I have in the front in my uh, inbox. So this uh, sticky note here is what these look like. So they're super transparent and again, one of my favorites. So I like to keep it handy in my planner. All right, so for my pen loop, the only downside with this planner is that this pen loop is really tight and I haven't found a pen yet that will fit in here, especially the ones with the rubber grip. So it's super tight, so I don't wanna stretch this out. So uh, what I do is I just use this clicker here and just loop that in the pen loop and it keeps my pen secure and handy in my planner. So yeah, guys, this is my final planner setup. I love it. It's so functional and I, uh, keep all of my planners essentials in this pouch everything else i have inside the planner and so i can easily just scoop this up and this is my mobile office i take this with me back and forth from my work office to my home office and then if i have a doctor's appointment or i'm getting my car service somewhere i'm gonna where i'm gonna have some idle time i'll bring this with me so i can do some planning and organizing instead of sitting on social media try to be productive with that time. Um, but I'm super happy with uh, my setup. It is not too thick and I have everything I need to stay organized. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and join the crew. Hit the bell notification so you know the next time your girl is in the building and I will see you guys in the next video. Please make sure you like, comment, and share this video with someone who can use it. Bye.